of the women's 1500 meters T11. And like in the first heat, the Kenyan athlete Koech this time does not start. So five go to the line, including the European champion Osnor Alamor, Osnor Yilmaz. Alamor, who won gold in Grisetto at the Europeans last year. Bronze in the 400 metres and gold in the 1 2 and the 4 in the previous Europeans in Swansea in 2014. Her guide is Atakan Altasai. Meritza Arango Betrago of Colombia, bronze in the 15 in Rio, silver in the 15 in Doha, the last worlds. No Nancy Coet, so now we're on to Joanna Mazur of Poland. Two golds from the Europeans in Grosseto, including the two. Michał Stavitsky, her guide. Frangola, Vifilia, Boya. Silver in the 800 metres in Doha at the last words, and Juan Chimboto as her guide. And on the inside for Chile from Santiago, Paolo Guzman, who went out in the heats in Rio. Eduardo Navarro Segredo, her guide. Jonathan Sanchez is the Colombian guide. First two to go through, plus the next two fastest losers. So Guzman, Boya, Mazur, Rango Vitrago and Osner Alamor are the five in this with the first two making their way through. Maritza Rango Vitrago, sister Adriana is involved in international athletics as well now these days. The Colombian athlete of the year a few years ago she was across all sports. Able-bodied and para. The Philia Boya of Angola in second place. Very busy program it was for her in Doha. Remember, it was very, very hot there. The evening sessions went on a long time. There weren't very many morning sessions because there was the uh, the height of uh, the high 30s in terms of the temperature. So there were very long evening sessions there. Silver in the eight reached the final of the 15 and the four, but didn't medal there. Ranga Betrago taking up a good position straight away for Colombia. We've got three laps to go. And the heat certainly hasn't materialised here on day two at these championships as Rango Petrago steps out in front. Very similar almost, almost to the, uh, the first of the heats in this one by the uh, reigning champion Zheng Jin when she went out to the front. Rango Petrago with her guide Sanchez Gonzalez just stretching out in front there and then we had in the first one it was the uh, South African Kurti who was in a similar position but Mazur ma makes to make sure she doesn't get dropped there at the back just the first two who automatically qualify in this so we're around to around 200 meters remaining in this the second lap of the 1500 meters event and Mazur in Poland there looks like she's getting dropped off the back uh, somewhat so she'll need to pick up the pace a little bit but doing it quite nicely out in front is Maritza Arengo Petrago who coming around into the uh, home straight leads by around five or six meters there doing it nice and easily indeed and behind her it is the filia Buya of Angola in second place who has just dropped back slightly as Mazur picks up a bit of ground in third place with two laps remaining the head-on shot certainly for shortens it two laps to go Ranga Vitrago leading very comfortably for Colombia the filia Boya quite a bit back maybe 15 metres or so in second place for Angolia. Joanna Mazur of Poland closing in in third. And then massive gaps back to fourth place in Paolo Guzman. And even further back to fifth for Osnor Alamor. Exil Mazur, who, remember, is the European champion. But such a comfortable margin of a lead for Maurizio Oranga Mitrago at the moment, who's medalled in the 1500 metres at the last two major championships. Bronze in Rio, silver in Doha. She's been winning major championship medals since way back in Christchurch, January 2011 during the New Zealand summer. She was silver in the 800 metres there. Had tried very short distances. She was fourth in the 400 metres, but felt that the longer distances were her strength. And she's certainly shown that with five major championship medals. She won silver in the 1500 meters in Doha, but also doubled up in the eight, and she won bronze in that. And Jonathan Sanchez-Gonzalez, her guide, has done a very good job. So tight, 
for second place and the second automatic qualifying spot with Boyer in second, Mazur in third, and here comes the bell. Well, I can tell you what's happened here is uh, Mazur is up in third place just off the back of Boyer, but her guide has done ever so well as Joanna Mazur. Michael Stavicki, he's, you can see him talking to her the whole way through. He's just guided Mazur through, and at this stage, Boyer looks like she's in a bit of trouble there. The first two who go through in this way out in front is the Columbia Maritza Arango Petrogo, but Mazur looks like she's in a pretty comfortable position at the moment to come around of the outside of Boyer, who looks like she's been struggling for the last four or five hundred metres. And there you see Mazur coming around the outside with around 250 metres to go in this race. Such a comfortable victory it's going to be for Maritza Arango Petrogo, that's for certain, but the big race is for second. A lead now of around 60 metres, 60 to 70 metres, and when it's Aranga Vitrago, it's almost like a time trial for her now. She might not even break five minutes, but she won't need to. She's going to win this. Here's the main race, though. Boyer in second place for Angola. Joanna Massor, double European champion in third for Poland. Her guide, Michał Stavisky, working it on the outside. Aranga Vitrago to qualify for the final. As the winner of right now, Mazur makes the break to go to second place. And what a sprint it is by Joanna Mazur. She'll go through along with Maritza Aranga Vitrago, who wins in 5.04.57. The poles are slowing down, but they'll get through. Mazur in second place. Boyer in third. That's the 1 2 3. Big gap back to Paolo Guzman of Chile in fourth place and the guide i think might have crossed the line ahead of her that would be disqualification but aranga betraga gets the win and Mazur in second place made the break at exactly the right time very very well guided boyer in third might be fast enough to go through and aranga betraga so comfortable throughout eased up in the final hundred meters Mazur definitely didn't Coming on the outside in lane three. Boyer beaten at that stage. So back to the women's long jump. T44 final. The Japanese athlete. Takakua, her third attempt, currently in third position, 4.54. Her best. Second of 4.46. And the third. It looks a little bit longer indeed. She looks happy. How did you read that one, Vanessa? Well, I think if I saw it right, it's a foul, so... It may be further, but it may not be legal, actually. I'm going to tip it to the actual legal one. Let's see. I think she perfectly judged that one. Oh, wow, it's a legal one. That must have been so close. <laughs> I don't think she could have got any better there. 4.80, Steph Reed, who leads. 5.23, her third attempt. 5.18 with the first. 5.23, an improvement of five centimetres with that second one that puts her further ahead in first place. What can she do with jump number three? A little bit behind the board, but it looks long. Certainly longer than what she's jumped so far. That looks really long. Um, it won't be the six meter. I think right now, her, both her and Mariana Amelie Lafleur are battling for the, be the first one to, to cross the six meter mark. Um, battering the world records a couple of times last year. Um, Amelie getting the better last year, but um, this year, um, Steph has a great chance to, to actually take on that mark, I guess. Well, let's see. Talking to a coach there. 540. So an improvement of 17 centimeters for Steph Breed in first place. Sarah Walsh of Australia now with her third attempt. The first two were fouls. And both her parents are Irish as well. But Australian born, based in Sydney. What can she produce after those two early fouls? 
That looks to be a bit better, but maybe just shy of five metres. But from the first two rounds, 4.54, the target to get into the medals. It's not too far away. She needed to improve the run-up anyway. She did, yeah. Um, it was actually her birthday yesterday. Uh, she turned 19, so little Sarah is not so little anymore. Um, I believe this is a pretty good attempt. Um, her personal best is just around the five meter, and I believe she's pretty close, yeah. Sarah Walsh up into fourth place, four meters 67. She's 13 centimeters off the bronze. So Maritza Rangabatrago wins for Colombia, 5.04.